On the eastern shore, more scrutiny of electric costs following a sudden price surge. And we were just shocked, very frankly. And we thought there was an error, there was a mistake. And then we went online and started seeing, you know, hundreds of people with the same concerns that it just, it didn't make any sense. Social media complaints describe a relatively mild winter, but electric bills are double those from the same time last year. Angela Wilkinson has a smart meter that keeps track of her power usage. She says her bill jumped up to $750 in the past two months. We can't afford this. You know, a lot of residents have to choose between paying their electric bill and putting food on the table. It's not acceptable. Tracy Parkinson's bill also climbed to more than $700. Even Delmarva told me there were thousands of customers that were complaining from the Chesapeake Bay to Ocean City, and the only common factor is Delmarva Power. The I-Team contacted Delmarva Power about the complaints. The company says it performed a comprehensive review of its systems and a review of customer accounts. It found no issues or problems. In an email, a Delmarva Power spokesman wrote, this comprehensive review has not identified any system issues affecting our customers. A review of customer accounts found that most customers' energy usage was consistent with historical averages from previous years. Parkinson says the power company told her to send in a picture of her smart meter and someone came out to check it. She then got this message. We've received your picture. We've come out and looked at your meter. There's nothing wrong with your meter. There will be no adjustments made. And whatever caused the skyrocketing cost spike apparently fixed itself. That answer did not satisfy her. I went back day by day and looked at electric usage and I found that at one o'clock on Monday, December 14th, it went from two kilowatt hours to over 12. And it stayed that high until January 28th. So I was paying um, more than double my usage from prior years. Both women have asked the Maryland Public Service Commission to investigate. Parkinson says her projected bill now shows usage and billing back to normal. Reporting from Kent Island on the Eastern Shore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.